what do you think of the image quality for uh, fluoroscopy uh, for the new flat panel system? Is there any things that you can see uh, now that you couldn't see before or rarely see before? Well, I think that the detail that we've, we see with fluoroscopy is excellent. Um, one of the most striking things is the um, dynamic range of the system. So, for example, if we're covering the neck and chest area simultaneously, uh, we can get very good penetration of the thicker structures in the chest, and simultaneously you don't get over, over burning or over penetration of the thinner structures, structures in the neck. So that is uh, an excellent feature. And finally, uh, wires, stents, catheters. The contrast resolution is really exceptional. You, you really see even less radio opaque wires very, very well. That's great. And how does that help you clinically when you're placing devices and that sort of thing, to be able to see those better? Well, clinically, of course, the dynamic range is very important because if you're doing, for example, a carotid stent case and you've got your sheath low down in the carotid artery but you're concentrating on the, on the carotid bifurcation region where you get much easier penetration, well you can keep your eye sim simultaneously on both of those structures. You see what's going on at the bifurcation, where you're crossing with the wires, where you're placing the stent, you can always keep your eye on, the, on where your sheath is and that will never get displaced in, in, the, uh, you know, in the thicker areas. Uh, and of course there's the advantage of seeing wires and stents well for precise positioning wherever you are, iliac arteries, wherever you're deploying a stent. When you can see these things, the wires, the stents, that's always a clinical advantage. And uh, are there any improvements in the uh, quality of the DSA runs that you've seen? Definitely. One of the most striking things with the flat plate is the beauty. It's one of the first things you realize, the beauty of the DSA runs. Images are sharp. Um, the, the, the edge, the detail is absolutely outstanding. And you can really see a difference in the depiction of very small branches, very peripheral branches in the foot or in the thigh, the very distal branches. I definitely think that um, for cases like visceral angiograms looking for GI bleeds, it, it has uh, a significant advantage. Also, if you're going into the brain area, very small branches looking for lesions like vasculitis in the very small branches of the brain. The, uh, the, the quality of the DSA image is in, and the sharpness and the precision with very small structures is really remarkable. And uh, how do you see the uh, one-shot images compared to II systems? The one-shot images are also, uh, for a reason that maybe you should explain to me, nicer. We see um, one-shot images when we, when we take pictures, for example, of nephrostomy catheters or biliary drainage catheters, uh, things like that, just a document position. You see the catheters very well. You see the holes uh, on the drainage catheters. You see the walls of the catheter itself and the lumen of the catheter. Very, very uh, good improvement, I think, over the uh, traditional II. It's interesting that you say that because uh, it may be because we have a digital pattern recognition filter which recognizes the patterns and enhances those contrasts of those structures. So, uh, and recently you've changed from the II systems to the flat panel system. What do you see as the main changes for you in your neuroradiology? Um, I have to tell you that at the beginning, before having the flat panel system, I was a bit uh, concerned about the fluoroscopic image. Uh, but now, uh, since we have the uh, flat panel system uh, f since two weeks, actually, uh, I'm pretty happy with the, those fluoroscopic images because it's uh, the, the very sh sharp and contrast of different devices during fluoroscopic work is amazing. We can see uh, in a very, very well, uh, very, well, very well definition of those stents and those coils that we are using for different uh, uh, neuro intervention work. That's fantastic. So how do you like the, D you've spoken about the fluoroscopic image, but also what do you think of the DSA images that you're getting? Uh, DSA uh, images are a lot better than it was before. Uh, especially for uh, very small vessels. So uh, as an example, when we are dealing with uh, 
vasculitis suspicion. We have to see uh, in a pretty well uh, way the, the, the very small vessels of the cerebral vasculature. And uh, with the flat panel, we are able to have a very good sharpness and a very good contrast of those very tiny and small uh, arteries that are pretty far in the cerebral vasculature. And this is the place where usually the disease takes place. So we have to see uh, this region pretty well.